you've noticed that your floors are starting to sag and slope in different directions. In this video, we're going to discuss how sagging floors occur and what it costs to treat. I'm Greg Backus, a project manager with AccuLevel. I've been in the foundation repair business for about four and a half years. Before that, I was in the appraisal trade, mostly managing appraisals, um, overseeing them for different clients and banks. When your floors sag, this is an indication that there's something wrong with your home structure. Sagging floors can be caused by a plethora of different things. Uh, it's usually caused by moisture, um, and the question is, is how much moisture have you gotten into your crawl space or into your basement to allow these floors to start to sag? Um, if it's the floor joists that are sagging between the main beam and the exterior wall, usually there's a support that's necessary uh, between those two uh, foundational structures in order to push that wall into place, or to, if nothing else, just support what's already started to drop. Um, if there's broken wood or rotted wood, that also needs to be repaired or additional lumber needs to be installed in order to uh, allow for more support from underneath. There's a few different products that we can use to uh, support the sagging floors. Hopefully it's just lumber that needs to be installed. Um, if there's cracked wood that starts to drop, lifting that wood into place and putting a new support member up against the broken floor joist, that's ideal um, and it costs the least than if you're looking into additional wood uh, that started to rot, whether it be the sill plates rotted out, the piece of lumber that sits directly on top of the foundation and usually takes on the most water, um, or the band board which sits on top of the, the uh, sill plate um, upright, that can also be resupported by additional pieces of lumber. Um, if your main beam that stretches across the middle of your house has started to sag, support jacks can be put underneath that main beam and steel shims can be added to your existing columns in order to um, allow for more support and an additional lift under that. If you're looking at an area that's between the main beam and the foundation, a piece of steel running across the uh, floor joists or the flooring system there, that's really going to be ideal. Sagging floors are going to cost anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000 for the most part, depending on how much of the flooring system needs to be repaired. Uh, if you're looking at an overall issue of uh, moisture in the crawl space causing the floors to begin to sag, at that point you're going to be looking at an all over cost which can you know, begin to escalate as you're looking at different areas that you need to pinpoint or different areas that you're starting to see wood deterioration in the crawl space. Um, at that point you're going to have to think of additional repairs such as the water drainage in the crawl space or mold remediation, other things that are sort of collateral damage for that moisture. In this video we've discussed why floors sag, what the treatments are, and what the treatments cost. For more information on sagging floors or other foundation related issues, click the link in the description below for our blogs. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.